going on guys slick b here or should i say sick b i'm getting i'm getting over my sickness but i have a pretty cool video for you today as you can see by the pictures that are scrolling in the background this is a world of warships hype video and we're going to be talking about the sharn horse so if you guys don't know what the sharn horse is it is a battle cruiser battleship made by the kriegsmarine i think i said that right i, I might have had too much of the I, I don't know. I, I, tried, I took Spanish in high school, so that's all I know how to do. But it is a battle cruiser, and I'm thinking it's going to be around tier five, tier six. It was very heavily armored, uh, pretty much equivalent to the to the Bismarck armor wise, but it had 11 inch guns instead of 15. There was two of the class built, but we're, we're going to talk about that in a second. I want to talk about first is I'm going to give away one CBT key. I have one CBT key. I got managed to get my hands on one. I'm going to give it away. And the way I'm going to do it is I want you guys to make me laugh in the comments underneath my comment. So I'm going to say laugh, make me laugh here with the arrows. Comment under that. Reply to that and try to make me laugh. Um, and just I, I like to do it that way because like... I get funny comments. You guys are funny people. And if you don't think you can be funny enough to make me laugh, uh, then, I don't know, just say something meaningful that I'm going to want to give you a key. You guys you guys know what to do. You guys are smart people. You could do it, but I'm just going to randomly generate one of those one of those uh, people for a little comment on that and give you a key. Now, I only have one, and please don't be upset if you don't get it. It's hard times for Slick to get a key. You know, I, I got one. I was very fortunate. So that's how I'm going to give it away. Uh, I, I'd rather do that than on stream because on stream people can just click and like, oh, well, let's do this. This way people actually have to, you know, watch. And you don't have to be a sub. I would like for you uh, to, you know, at least play the game if you get the code. I don't want people to just take the code and like sell it or something. I don't know if people do that. Probably shouldn't have said that. But anyway, let's get on to the Sharn Horse. So I wrote down a little script that we're going to follow so we can talk about the Sharn Horse. And oh, I'm so excited for this ship. Super excited for this ship. So it was launched on October 3rd, 1936, and it was completed in, in 1939. It was armed with nine 11 inch guns now they were in three turrets with three guns in each so kind of like the classic American style there was two turrets in the front and one in the back um, it was supposed to get refitted with 15 inch guns like the Bismarck and that never happened if that were to happen this would have been a f <laughs> this would have been crazy if that that were to happen so it had its sister ship the Geneseo I, I think that's how you say it Geneseo it's a uh, it might the G might be silent. I'm not sure. I can't speak German, so obviously I can't. But um, I think they were both supposed to be retrofitted with 15-inch guns. So if that was going to be the fleet, the Turpitz, the Bismarck, the Genasio or Genasio and the Scharnhorst, all with 15-inch guns, that would have been insane. How much power these ships could have done? Because the the Scharnhorst did well on its own. You know, it did well only in packs of two. So it was considered an Aristot S Ellis class? Ellis Ellis Lass? Ellis Lass? I can't I can't um pronounce it, but it was to replace its cruiser counterpart that was made in World War One. So it was uh replacing the pre dreadnought period ships that were named. There was also another Sharn Horse, the SMS Sharn Horse, which was a nineteen oh one ship I believe and um, this ship obviously replaced it but they used the same the same uh, name to honor Ger Gerhard Johan von Scharnhorst I believe so uh, yes now the first engagement that the Scharnhorst was in it sank the HMS Ral Ralvindy? Ralpindy now the Ralpindy was a 1920-something design ship. It was a very outdated ship, and it got sunk by the Scharnhorst because the Scharnhorst was very advanced for its time. Um, now in another operation off of Norway, uh, the Scharnhorst with the Gen Geneseo. I'm gonna say Geneseo. Please don't kill me. I, I know. Um, they sunk the HMS Glorious, which was a carrier. Uh, with both of its escort destroyers and also fought off um, another battleship. I didn't write down what battleship, but it fought off a battleship 
And the Scharnhorst is also credited with one of the longest naval shot to hit in history. Um, I don't know how far away that was, but uh, I'll, I'll I'll look it up and put it in the video. I'll put it in a, like a, a text right here to tell you how far it is, if they have records of it. Um, and it was eventually sank in the Battle of the North Cape by the HMS Duke of York, which is unfair. It was kind of like a cheat code. I mean, the Duke of York had like 16-inch guns. It was like a big, big uh, 1942 battleship. So that's not fair, but, you know, it happened. So it got sunk. And 36 of the 1968 crew survived. So only 36 people of nearly 2,000 people um, lost their lives. So... It, it was, you know, a big ship. It went down, and a lot of its crew members went down with it, which is pretty sad, but war is war. Now, this ship could go 31 knots. It could go two knots slower than the Cleveland class. So just think about that. Very fast ship. Um, it was powered by three steam turbines that produced 151,000 horsepower. Now, for the armor, the belt was 14 inches, the deck was 2 inches, the turrets were 8 to 14 inches, and the tower was 14 inches all around. So, very, very well armored ship. 14, it's pretty much the same as the Bismarck. Um, if not better, I believe that the, the turrets might be better than the Bismarck, and the tower might be better than Bismarck, which is interesting. Now, the size of the ship was 771 feet long, the beam was 98 feet, and the draft was 32 feet. And it also carried three Arado AR-196As. Now, those are, you know, obviously naval ship, naval recon planes. I don't know why I said ships. Naval recon planes used by the Germans that were sent off a launcher on the back. It could only launch one plane at once, uh, one plane at a time. It had one launcher. It didn't have multiple. And it obviously had a crane to pick the, the planes out of the water and put it back onto the ship. So this this ship is fantastic. It is a beautiful ship. It is my favorite ship personally. I know Fly said he likes the Fuso. That's his favorite ship. Just look at the Sharnhorst. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful ship, and I cannot wait to see it in game. It's going to be my my most excited, um, most anticipated ship that I'm looking forward to. Is this the Bismarck and probably the Iowa? Or the Montana. Those are those are all cool ships. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, the Sharnhorse is a beautiful ship. I hope you guys get hyped about it. Um, and I really hope another thing that these German ships get their dazzle camo and their deck paint. Because, uh, you know, yeah, the swastika is an issue. So maybe, listen to me, War Game, don't put the swastikas in. Because then German people can't play it. But um, the deck paint was really cool, especially in the Bismarck. They had huge flags like painted on the deck and I thought that was interesting and the Bismarck was all dazzle camo if you don't know what that is it is a uh, fractured camo with like three different colors I believe three different types of gray and white and um, it was fractured it looks splintered so at far ranges when you're looking through binoculars it's hard because the ship almost blends in with the the um, the ocean just because of the way it was structured it was really cool it was supposed to throw people off but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You should be looking at the pictures of the Sharn Horse that I have compiled for you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, comment down below if you want to try to win a CBT code. The game is fantastic right now. I'm having a great time playing it, and maybe I'll see you guys in game. So have a good time. I hope you guys, you know, I hope whoever wins this code enjoys it, plays the shit out of the game, and hopefully you get the Sharn Horse first when it comes out. I know I'll be grinding for it when it first comes out. So I'll see you guys on the seas. Okay, that was a really bad... Uh, fuck, fuck me.